And welcome to YouTube channel of RV Max US. My name is Sachin Shah. I'm coming to you with a sunny South Carolina. We are in Greenville, South Carolina. Today, what I have behind me is a 40 foot gold. It's a rare find. There are so many Alpha C out there, but they're 330, 350 cat. This one is ISL 400 Cummins. It's a gold, G O L D, gold, full body paint. The paint you're looking at it, it is from factory. You know, the purpose of our video is to show you good, bad, and ugly. Look at the backside. Beautiful. It does have some alpha pox, and I'll show you that. I don't see any back here. Fixed scare light. That's an LED scare light. LED, upgraded lights. Okay. I see a little bit of a bubbling up right here. Right below this household refrigerator next to the your furnace. Just a hard to see. It's funny, we started the video from back because these are, these are called Sia. Alpha Sia, we started from the back. Uh, open this latch. You've got an outside refrigerator, domatic, and on a slide out tray. This is electric slide with the push up button comes in out. We'll have to have that checked out. It's not working right now, but it's a deep, deep slide out. A little more of Alpha Pox right here. You've got the trash, trash can hole. I also call this, honey, pass me a hot sauce hole. So you dump trash from there, and then when trash is full, you get it out. It's a nice little thing. We got a two 120 plug with those today's new suction cups. You can hang a 50 inch TV and tailgate here if you like to. Let's see. All right, another deep storage. Got some extra parts here. Pretty clean. It's got really low miles. We sold it to a guy and he didn't use it much. Um, we got some more alpha pox right here. That's very visible here. You know, I'm just pointing it out, but other than that, overall, really nice. We got a garage awning. It's got a couple of little pinholes one, two, three, four, and the fifth one is a little big. So, you know, hey, just want to tell you, it's really for shade. It's not really for. Uh, a rain protection, but it's a big boy Gerard awning, kind of like you see them Prevo bus or American Eagle or high end um, Newmar or King Air and stuff like that. It'll go in and out. It works on 120, not 12 volts. You got to have a generator running like you hear it right now, or you got to be plugged up or inverter on. You got to have, you got six coach batteries, three on each side, and a generator is right in dead center. About 310 hours, right? I think we just saw, saw that. Windshield. This side has a little crack right above here. That's the passenger windshield has a crack. Driver windshield's in good shape. And that crack up on top is not in your vision area, but you know, it's up to your state. If they want a new windshield, we're probably talking a thousand dollars or so to install one. Um, front, free from any major 3M film. There's no 3M film. The headlight's been buffed and waxed or clear coated by our local guy he comes and do it look at it looks like new nice chrome mirror 
no oxidation. I'm gonna go check on other one. Same thing, just a little bit oxidation on bottom, but it's not peeling off yet. The top of the roof looks nice. We just had recently sealed. Slide out topper seems to be in a good shape. That's a big slide out, massive slide. We've got a Michelin tires with no dry check, or anything like that. Good, good shape tires. They're not new, but they're in a good shape. The date codes are like 17 or something. Uh, 10 gallon water heater, but you know what? This coach also has aqua hot heating. I'm gonna turn that generator off. So it's a little less noise. It's got a little competition, me talking loud. 10 gallon water heater, you also have aqua hot heating system. Um, let's see what's here. A little bit of alpha pox here. Uh, some antifreeze and stuff. And uh, your wind windshield washer fluid goes there. That's some service access. No, that's your air hose. How about that? Pretty neat. Alco aluminum wheels. Got another awning here. It will come out. Huge slide out. The people they know, Alpha, man, they're known for having a lots of room on inside. This is your big aqua hot. It's a 450 hydro hot. Okay, I'm sorry. It's not aqua hot. Hydro hot. A big one. Got all little alpha pox on that door. This door do not have one. That's your LP tank. It's pretty, pretty large. 35 gallon, I think. Or 38 gallon. 38 gallon LP tank. Got little paint clear coats coming off on top. Now, you know, people that watch my video, you know, I like to nitpick them as much as I can. And if you're one of those guys that like to nitpick more than I do, then go ahead and knock yourselves out. A little bit of a off epox, but they're not bad. Very micro one, if you would call that. Uh, that's the electric slide out tray on the other side. Uh, bottom of the slide looks good too. In pretty good shape. All right. We bought it from a first owner in Florida. Then we sold it to another guy in Charleston, South Carolina. We just got it back again. So it's... There we go. Your typical water connection, wet bay. You hook up your sewer connection, outside shower, all that stuff. Uh, they removed the electric and got the manual, which I like that. Manual is always way to go. Got some side docking lights, some there in the front, one in the back. And I like this part. Alpha did that. I mean, I tell you, it was a little thing, but if you notice that, I'm 53 and, you know, getting younger every day. So I think if you have a hard time getting up or something, it's like really good, good real pull bar, I guess I would call that. That's nice. Alcohol aluminum wheels, Michelin tires. I mean, you look, it's, I think it looks really pretty, isn't it? Paint is really gorgeous. I don't know what you call it. Ivory color or champagne, dark, darker champagne. And you got the burgundy in it and some uh, dark brown here. Just a beautiful paint job. Um, fiberglass roof. I mean, this is in really good shape. Got a big bedroom window awning. Um, let's see. We'll come around back. Should have 10,000 pound towing capacity. Indeed, it does. It's a big we got an ISL 400. I like that motor a lot better than those 350 little motors. Got a little bicycle rack back there and got a few little scratches come free of charge. Probably from bicycle or something. Got a nice newer backup monitor. It's a color backup monitor. Oh, it, it has a, a collision, what do you call it? Like a, um, a sensors when you back up. Yep, it's like a sensors, all, 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 all of it in the front and the back. Got a basement air condition, runs really good. Uh, you know, a little bit of a alpha pox. I can't see them. They're just little bubbles, but hard to see. You may not even be able to see it on the on the video here. Come around the back, a little access door, some kind of service area over here. We got a oh, there we go. Some Freightliner custom air chassis components on the left side. You got a I think it's a leveling, hydraulic leveling 
uh, reservoir and a and a solenoid if you ever need to service those. Again, tires look great. Okay, I mean they're they're probably five years old, six years old, but you know you could you could probably put two new in the front and get away with it. What Michelin tells you when they get a ten year anniversary, you change them. They're forty eight of sixteen, so they were probably not installed till sometime in seventeen or eighteen. So they are about five, five and a half years old, but no dry checking. All right, so it seems like we made a complete circle. Let's go ahead and inside and show you how it looks inside. All right, let's come on in this beautiful motorhome. Come on in. It is in a way above average condition for 2005. So we have a natural maple hardwood floors along with a heated tile. Let me repeat, there are heated tiles in the bedroom, I mean, kitchen area, all the way in the bedroom. I mean, what do you call the bathroom area? We'll go over the cockpit area when we come back. But this sofa is right here. It's a jackknife. It'll open up this way. And uh, this coach is a tall person friendly. You could be a seven feet tall and you won't scrub it there. Maybe hit it here. But even here, look. Take my shoes off to put my... Uh, demonstrate that when it's jackknife open here, a tall person can sleep in here. Yes, uh, six feet. So, you know, if you have kids taller than six feet, may have a little trouble. But uh, we have a day and night shade. I think string needs to be attached right there. Not a biggie. This one opens up. They could be notorious sometime. But if you wanted to change shade, you can. But they work. Uh, nice window treatment if you would call that or window balances on the side you do have a little storage back here check this out so right behind the back here let me move this light out of the way it's a snake light comes up wow we got some extra water filters i mean air filters sometimes I, I i don't correct myself and i'm watching video i said water filter that's air filter so you got a little storage and also i think there's a subwoofer located in this box don't know if it works or not we don't do too much in-depth audio video but we will it does have a smart tv in the front vizio it's a smart tv so we have a one additional roof air condition up top on top of the basement air conditioning so this 400 gold or 40 gold came with the more features and punches Hey, you even get a nice printer. Goes with it. And you got another top tier. Some people I've seen it, they put uh like stuff like this. Oh, speaking of that. These are all kinds of books and records. Ah, that's a Wildex old backup monitor we have already replaced backup monitor okay some goodies here and some owner's manuals over here we used to have two euro recliners and this is actually dining table i just put it up here a dining table chair as you can see the air conditioning and heating would come from the floor because it's a basement air and you have a two big uh two big uh bay windows lots of lightings as you can see this string needs to be tightened up um i think they used to have a tv here as you see the coaxial cable come up a little tv if you wanted to put up here or something nice solid surface countertop in a kitchen we've got a slide out drawers well there's this drawer where they have a little lock mechanism on the bottom one so if you put some heavy duty canned goods you can lock it up so they won't come open even this thing slides out if you got it's pretty neat water filtration system dual stainless steel sink this is your pass me hot sauce trash bag uh, i mean trash can compartment but you could also reach out outside from here we'll have a three 
burner gas stove and you see the top kind of stores neatly behind it we have a traditional stove i mean it's traditional oven some drawers up here everywhere i'm not going to go into everything we've got a nice um let's see microwave oven it's convection too wow air fryer convection it's a pretty new it's like a 2021 so it's a new new microwave speaking of new microwave we have a nice whirlpool household refrigerator um with the france doors and you got a freezer below it here pretty nice keep moving forward here we'll come back in the living room but here is where it used to be washer dryer combo the previous person we sold it to take it took it out some more storage up on top storage below and back here we got some pantry if you call that a lots of pretty deep pantry with some more canned goods for those long trips in the colder months so this thing has folded down but look it just it's like a butterfly it's let's see you pull that out and this thing kind of folds in and it can become small and we only have three chairs and if, as you can see this slide is so big it's almost a 48 inch uh, three and a half four feet deep slide out that one slide is given same room as some of the motorhome with the two opposing slides you got a nice little countertop here if you want to have an office here or something more storage here oh here we go we got some more books and records that's your owner's manual for alpha leisure hmm, phillips something some kind of remote and some more stuff in here i don't know what that is but okie doke i don't see any major flaws but i like to point out up here we have a little water stains no water leak i had an rv tech went through the roof and sealed everything in south carolina we had a plenty of rain in last since we uh oh more air filters can never run out of air filters here yeah but little minor water stains around here but no more water leaks roof is in great shape all right so finishing up living room with a ceiling fan it's right here in dead center we got a sliding door i think i pushed it out a little bit locked how about that uh over here we have our thermostat let's turn it on cool 69 we have aqua hot heating system aqua hot heating system your monitor panel this is your a bedroom slide in and out control this coach also has a 10 gallon water heater so you have a two types of water heating i just turned the basement ac on with this thermostat this is your big bathroom let's check that out it's a tile i mean a tile floor that comes here and this tile is heated tile if you want to turn heated tile on heater heater tile right here this is a liver that that's your heated tile how about that tile heater that's pretty neat uh should be little nope that is not a, it, it gives you false uh, hope that it's going to open up. It's got a four hinges. So this is just a luxury island tours and cruises picture goes with it. Hey, I like the grab handle. You know, you saw it outside by the wash bay. You can get up. Well, you could get up here too, man. If you got sitting down here and you can't get up, here's your grab handle. Got some cabinet up top. Fantastic fan up on top. I don't know what you call the toilet paper holder, a magazine holder. I don't know. It's some kind of little holder here some vanities put some towels or whatever and right next to it we have a nice size a small bathtub you know you could give a little puppy a or cat bath or you want to sit and take bathtub uh step in here man the height is the big thing in this motor i mean god these things are designed for tall people nice skylight and then our luxury luxurious final plank floor the natural maple continues it was a carpet before we did that about four or five years ago when we sold it the first time that's that light how about this light 
Boom. There's light. Let there be light. So medicine cabinet here. Nice counter space. A little sink with the some drawers. Man, the AC feels good. AC works. That is important. Might needs a bulb. So we got a coat closet, pretty long. It's got a cedar line uh, base. And this is a lock mechanism. Okay, that one needs a bulb. Turn the light off. Okay, dope. We have a queen size bed. As like I mentioned many times in my videos, there's a, a little bit of room there, a little bit of room there. You could make a Olympic queen size bed. I don't know why. I guess the, I'd be, I should be their salesman. Olympic queen size bed is six inches wider than a queen bed. It's not as wide as a king, but it would go a little wider if you'd like to. You got a little hidden lights here. Look at this. A little cigarette lighter hook up here. Uh, telephone cord hookup. I don't know, man. This is some of the old stuff like a dinosaur. That's your volume control. Um, fantastic fan raise. It raises up there, and it's got a fantastic fan up there. Got a nice little window, too, on this end. And then you got two windows on that side. The older motorhome used to have TVs up here. They took that TV off and uh, turned into a little storage up here. Let's see, this door handle is missing. I want to put one there, not a big deal. You could go to Home Depot and get one. So over here, a slight little ri ripple on the wallpaper and a little boo-boo here i like to point stuff out but on that everything is good you know the purpose of the video to find little stuff like that but you know this is a 2005 most people watching video they know this is not a 2023 motorhome so you can come all day long and nitpick them like mine our son says you can you can nitpick it till days what do you call it? the sun goes down that's what he says but that's why we do the video. It saves us time and you guys a time. Let me reappraise that. It saves you guys time. You come here to look at it, but if you're coming from 10 hours, watch the video so you know if this is what you want. If this is not it, then, and we're not perfect. We're trying to point out little stuff here and there. Oh man, there's no odor in here. Uh, no smoke odor, importantly. It's a smoke-free coach. Look at this uh, little... Uh, what do you call that? A headboard and then a the little trim on top. Not not nasty or no stains on it. It's in good shape. By the way, this is a new mattress. It's a 10-inch memory foam mattress. We put it in. The guy we sold it to, he brought it back and we uh, he took his mattress out. He had a therapeutic or something. Or ther what do you call it? Temperaputic or whatever. But this is about a $400 10-inch memory foam mattress. So... Uh, Let's see. I think we're getting close to finishing up inside video. What we're going to do is get up here and show you the cockpit area. And uh, I love this. I don't know, honey oak or whatever color they call. Aqua hot is running. I hear it. That's a good thing. Let me turn aqua hot off. Yes. I believe. It's a, you get a good bang for your buck on this coach. It's a 400 horse Cummins. What we're going to do, get on a test drive, but let's, before we do that, let's go through the cockpit. Or by the way, both of these uh, seats would swivel around. Man, the air conditioning is running good. I mean, I feel it. It's, it's the basement air conditioning, by the way, guys. They're one of the best ACs. Like Prevo Bus has got them. They are, they cool really good. We still have one more roof here to back it up. This coach would cool really good. All right. We have a backup monitor. You just lift that up. See this? This big thing, when we took that little plastic tub off, 
they had a big old backup monitor that didn't work. We got a small one that works. Okay, wait to start. It, it's really got 17,000 miles. That is crazy low miles. Crazy low miles, I think. Uh, that's, um, I'll have to look at the title. It's a Florida title. So um, we're probably going to sell it as a miles exempt, but that's how we got it. It had a 10,000 mile early on when we got it, and now it's like 17,000 miles. I don't know. Uh, this thing is telling us that we have a 30 uh, or 40 PSI threshold. So your air gauges are right here, rear air and front air. And that's why you hear that buzzer. It's a low air buzzer. What you can do is you turn this uh, cruise on and say set and watch. Your RPM jump from about four or 500 to about 700, something like that. Yeah. Um, so it'll build the air up faster. And you keep this lever onto auto. If you put on lower, that's when you want to um, that's when you want to um, put a coach in a leveling position so you lower all your suspension. So the uh, low air buzzer has gone on because we're about 70, approaching 70. Um, let's go over three. This is a generator preheat. You preheat generator. And as long as your fuel gauge is more than a quarter tank, like in this case is almost half, you will just start a generator. The generator has fired right up. A little black smoke came out. It hasn't been run in a while. <coughs> We've got a nice air horn, man. I love that. It's got a telescopic and tilt wheel. It'll, well, telescopic and tilt wheel, uh, steering wheel. Let's see, adjustable pedals. Let's see. Yep, they go up and down. So if your wife wanted to drive, she's short, or you are shorter than your wife, then you can adjust um, your fuel pedal and a brake pedal. We have a two-stage engine brakes. Uh, we'll test that out. So we have electric shades, as you can see here. Even that comes down. Nice electric shades. You know, I didn't see many foggy windows. That entrance door is just a dirty. And uh, right above the entrance door, you see that little uh, wallpaper? It's got stretched out. It's not any water damage or nothing like that. Maybe right here is a little wallpaper loose here. Again, I am not 100% perfect. Well, nobody is, but we're trying to point out little stuff like this. You're looking for perfect, perfect motorhome 2005. Uh, chances are like you probably win a lottery before you find 2005 motorhome. Unless somebody just put it in a garage and never used it, right? So, uh, okay, let me get that. So this one is manual. Okay, that's good. So that's why the other, other three are all electric. And they all work. Perfect. This is a uh, manual. I like that. Oh, we got to figure out this TV stuff. It's got a TV and a Clarion CD player. Or this is a dinosaur. We do have, we probably had, I don't think there's a Wingard satellite dish with all the Amazon Primes and with the Wi Fi nowadays. Those are dinosaurs. I don't know what that is. A uh, CD player, HP Compact. Wait a minute. That is a, that is an Intel inside. That's a computer. Huh. I don't know. It's just there. You can have it or put it as a boat anchor. My God, there's a CPU sitting here. Okay. Uh, anything else? I'm, oh, I like these little old meters. Look, the house batteries, where are they? 14 volts, shore generator. Well, generator is running right now. Shore or generator. So if I turn generator off, uh, inverter. Inverter is right under the step. I'll show you that. Over here, we have a video distribution box, Blu ray player. Okay. Let's see. So what are we going to do? Uh, it's running. I'm going to turn the generator on. I mean, generator off. We're going to hit the road, test drive it. Let's do that. All right, here's a test drive on this 40-foot Alpha. I mean, I'm looking forward to drive this 400-horse chariot on the road. Man, it's got a power. Woo! We just got off the main uh, road from our dealership's side street. Man, it will get up and go. And let's see, I got my exhaust brakes on, it's engaging. I mean, it is slowing me down. I'm coming up to this 
roundabout, not even hitting the brake pedal. I mean, it is just slowing me down. Now I'll probably hit a brake just a little bit. Man, just a first impression, man, out the door. Just a beautiful coach. The driving is pleasure. We've had many, many alphas in our 25 years of RV business. And I tell you what, they surprised me. They may look a little ugly, they look big, but this one is a full body paint, so it's a little pretty, okay? But they are, I mean, it's quiet. Can you hear it? Nicole, look, we're doing 45, no, about, yeah, uh, coming up to 50. I mean, can you hear any sound? I mean, just very quiet, isn't it? Quiet coach. They are tightly put together in uh, Ontario, California. They don't make them anymore. Those folks know the story or history of RV business in 08. A lot of people shut down. We shut down our big dealership with a big overhead, bad, bad, bad uh, uh, format. No, it was pretty bad. But anyways, uh, back to the Alpha. Alpha was shut down in 07, 08, um, with a lot of RV manufacturers went. They call them a great recession or whatever, 2008. But you know what? Here's It was built in Gaffney, South Carolina, the foundation, about uh, 45 minutes from us. So Gaffney, South Carolina, Freightliner, still in the business, owned by Daimler. Uh, you got Cummins is in a business. Allison is in a business. I mean, it's just, you know, what was, what Alpha made was the box and, and put together. I mean, it's not, you know, they went out of business. But anyway, without blabbing too much about it, these are rare coaches, man. If you are one of those tall person and you'd like to have a lot of headroom, even if you're not tall, just want to feel like you got a more room, like fifth wheel, this is it. Well, fifth wheel, yeah. Fifth wheel with a 400 horse in the back. <laughs> so I love these exhaust brakes. This just the test drive is, we just get on the road and find out how it acts. And uh, so kind of give you full, um, you know, aspect of what it is like without driving it up to our lot. Man, got a great turning radius. Wow. Because I've made a lap here on this little, it's like a Greek little lamina or something. It's like a really hard turn. So I've been here with some older coaches or different coaches where they have a little less turning radius and it's a little tough. This one's got a really nice turning radius. I think it looks like I got to go. Yeah. Everybody stop. Let's go. <laughs> All right. We're going to kick it. Man, this thing would get up and go. All right, BMW with a big kidney grill. I'm coming in the right lane. <laughs> We're going to turn right at the uh, QT gas station here. Okay, let's uh, cruise is set. Cruise works. Hey, yes, cruise works. All right, hit the brake, emergency brake. I mean, not emergency brake. Do not, do not, please do not hit emergency brake. That's, that's a knob over here. You don't lift that up, okay? Sorry, I, I'm getting too excited and, and, and saying some dumb stuff. <laughs> I was talking about exhaust brakes. Exhaust brake works. Uh, oh, there's a pedal up and down. Okay, all right. This coach runs great. Okay, so all in all, full body paint. As you saw, the whole video has got some alpha chicken pox at some places. Um, but overall, a nice coach, low miles, 400 horse. 05 was one of the sweetheart spots, way before DAF. But even before, when they start messing with the DAF in 0, uh, 2008, 9, about 10, they came out with DAF. So uh, 10, 11, they have a, wow, look at that. It was a Lamborghini SUV. Did you see that? The yellow one, yeah. Uh, anyways, I, I look at the cars all the time. I love cars. Windshield is cracked. I think we might have covered it. We did outside video a few days ago, so I kind of forgot. Crack windshield, eh, that could be changed for about, in South Carolina, eh, about a thousand dollars, 1100 bucks maybe to change that windshield. It's out of my view area, so it's okay, but just notice that. Yes, coach runs great. I don't know what else to add. Left signal, right signal, they work. We'll check all those little stuff, okay? We'll do a little PDI. That stands for pre-delivery inspection. Make sure water is getting warmed up so you don't take cold shower. Air conditioner works. You know, 
headlights, turn signals, stuff like that. But it's not going to be no brand new motorhome. We do offer warranty. That's a good thing. If you would like to buy a warranty on it, you could probably buy up to three or four, maybe five years. I don't know. And if you don't buy warranty from us, you can buy it on your own from Good Sam Club or anybody online. They sell warranty. You can buy that. We never push warranty, but we do offer warranty. All right. So oh, I think this, this is it. Let me give you my phone number. Phone number is... My number is 864-404-0054. That's me, Sachin, my son, our son, Mayan, 864-376-5600. Give us a call, but we like text communication. You know, so many spam calls come in. Text us and we'll get back to you. If you don't know how to text, leave us a voicemail. We'll call you back. Uh, please subscribe to our channel. Um, give us a thumbs up. Hit that bell button so I think it'll notify you whenever we put a new video up. And um, I think that's it. Thank you so much. Have a blessed day.